morning guys thanks for clicking back on the channel me and my companion Lily Boo <laughs> uh, we've come out today we've come to a place uh, you might have seen in previous vlogs that we like to call Camp X-Ray it's a lovely place here in Wales Great Britain it's right by the side of a reservoir I'll show you all later um, we've just come out this hall just to practice some skills and just to chill out in a hammock basically um, they will be talking on this video um, how do you feel about that guys um, cause I'm a bit torn because some people just like the tactical stuff and then some people say yeah they do like me talking on the videos obviously the fishing videos of course is always talking on them it'd be silly not to but um when it comes to demonstrating things i find i do need to talk because when i've demonstrated things without talking um i think it's a bit confusing for people so please put down in the comments if you'd rather me um explain things verbally or just show you obviously you can pause the video and rewind and things but just let me know okay so i'm gonna put a hammock up now i'll show you how to do that and oh yeah i brought the air rifle with me just target practice is all um yeah i'll show you the gun as well i've I'll show you um, I've sort of pimped it up a bit you know because one of the questions I've asked on Facebook is what are the rules regarding um, kill clean cook eat all that I, I know I don't want to offend anybody vegans anything like that I, that, that I just don't want I'd love to do it because I've done it a million times before without filming it um, yeah how do you feel about that please put that in the comments down below because i want some honest feedback and because i'm not upsetting anybody on this channel guys i just want a, a nice clean enjoyable channel okay so if that's something i might defend you let me know people have suggested put a warning on first but i might drive people away from the channel anyway if they know i'm doing stuff like that so let me know okay right let's get this hammock up so one of the things I want to show you today guys is for all you guys with who take your dogs out on your camps too. These are uh, the huge carabiers. There's a piece of foam on there look. Now we've had these for years okay. I put them on my barrel for fishing for connecting buckets to the outside. They're brilliant for retaining your pooch you know hands free if you're walking through the forest just clipping on there when you're setting up camp just clicking on there I know some of you you've got uh, well disciplined dogs that will stay with you without the lead you know they can be let run free but mine can't see she'll be off as soon as she picks up a scent or something she'll be gone so that's just something I want to show you just clips on the burger in there look is a lead happy days so here's my hammock and the first thing you need to do is pick two trees opposite each other okay now I know these trees because I've used them before one two three four five six seven eight so it's eight paces across I know my hammock will fit in there lovely so these come with the hammock guys these are called daisy chains it's just jungle knots all the way down look and you get two of them okay one to one tree the other one to the other you get a carabia clip on it I'll show you how it works now so taking your daisy chain you want to come above head height okay so just for now, just pull it on the tree.
like so. So about there. This car will be here. Go on there, nigga. Now that will connect now to one end of the hammock. Let's go to the opposite tree. So on the opposite tree, I've done exactly the same. So the car will be out on the end, just for now, until I get the right measurement, see? So now I'm going to connect the hammock. So on the end of the hammock, guys, you've got these loops. Taking the carabina, connect it through the loop, walk it across to the other side. I'm on the other side now, okay? So that there is a little too slack. So that's all you do. Move up to one of the daisy chains. And put it where you think is correct. Let's try it out. So when you get in the hammock, plunk your butt on the end, on the left, okay? So you want good ground clearance. So that's absolutely perfect there. There you go guys, surf in the forest, absolute bliss. So that's how you set up your hammock, okay guys, you couldn't get no easier than that to be honest. So, what I've got in mind now guys, I got my German sleep pad inside, look. Just for a bit of insulation from me underneath and a bit of extra comfort. On my hammock, which is from Decathlon, it's the Solagnac. It's in furtive camo, which is a French design, which I absolutely love. It's got like two pockets each end. You just put the mat underneath. And over your, I've just got my kit hammock to put various items in to keep them off the floor. So just on uh, the theme of keeping everything off the floor, I've got my little homemade table here. So I can stand up now and do my cooking or make a brew or what have you without being on my knees so it's great for people with bad backs so all it is guys sewn off branch obviously you measure it to the height you want a bungee around the tree uh, two of these ball elastics on the end you know the ones and there's your little table got all my gear there I got my water in there etc my cooking station, my hammock, my princess. Just in case it does get a bit intense with the gnats, etc., I've got my head veil, and I've got some British Army mosquito repellent or bug repellent. You can pick these up cheap, guys. Um, get hold of Lee in the bug out shop. I'll put a link in the description. You can sort it out with some of these, they're brilliant, okay? They're 34% DEET. Something else to show you guys I found on eBay. Um, I'll have a look for the link for you. So this is a basher bag. They came, they came, uh, they come in all sorts of camouflage. Obviously it says DPM. There's a pocket on the outside. These stakes look. Just 
tough sack so in there i got my basher my british army dpm basher and there's ample room in there you know you're not struggling to get your gear in so that's all i'll uh i'll try and get the link for you guys and put it in the description down below brilliant bit of kit so here's something else i got guys from the same people on ebay it's a wax canvas bag bear with guys i'm doing a one hand one sec for your for your bcb stove so that's from the same people who do the basha bags guys excellent find as you can see i've uh i put some spray paint on my pcb stove now why the british army can't do that can't make them like that i don't know there you go i have to put some on the ends there look because it's just too shiny then guys <clears throat> so let's have a look at my rifle then it's a 2-2 it's a Relam Zafia obviously I've tarted it up a little with some burlap some spray paint and up until now I've just been using it for target practice. I'm going to put a few targets up now and uh, we'll have a look how it performs, okay, and how it operates. Right, so this is how we load it up, guys, right? It's a brake pack. Take your pellet. Put it in the end there. Cock is shut, okay? There's no safety on this particular rifle. It's just there, okay? Take aim. Now the breathing is important here, okay? So you've got a stock there. 
in your shoulder okay you want bone against bone so I got into my shoulder bone so lining up my target when I breathe in I'm gonna exhale slowly and hold it at the end okay and I'm gonna take my shot pad of my finger is on the trigger I'm not snapping it I'm just pulling it back after the shot has been fired I'm going to follow through and keep the rifle in the same position Like so. Show you another one. Pellet. Cock is shut. Bone against bone. Breathing in. Let's go and have a look. Right, so let's have a look what we got. I was shooting from there. Okay, that's about 50 yards. I had to make an adjustment after the first pellet. So look what we got. Yeah. So there's the first pellet. I made some adjustments and we got it there, okay? That's not too bad. Uh, a bit more refinement with the adjustments. And I'm sure we'll get it. Let's try one, yeah? We'll try one shot. I think that's bang on guys Should adjust it slightly to the left We're going to have a look now So run you through it again, okay Break back Pellet in Lock shut When you're doing that process Keep your finger away from the trigger mechanism, okay? Because there's no safety on you Bone to bone Line the target up. Deep breath in. Hold it on the exhale, okay? Part of your finger. Follow through. Taking a shot there. Follow through and hold. And that's how you do it, okay guys? Let's go and have a look. How do you reckon we're done guys? I know it's going to be on target and when I look through the scope it was a bullseye Let's have a look, yeah See if I still got the magic touch Yeah So there we go, look You see it? Let's see if I can zoom in for you, on There you go, look So there so that's definitely a kill. Happy days. Easy peasy. Chop and easy. Just gonna have some lunch now guys, some scoff. So I've got some homemade chili. I am gonna rice there because I don't want the carbs today. Not too much. Uh, so I got homemade chili which Ailey made for me, that's my partner. I brought a bottle so I can show you what you're looking for guys. This stuff is absolutely amazing. Um, home bargains again, guys. In corners, eh? In corner. This is absolutely brilliant if you like things hot. So that's my lunch there. And I've got Lily Boo, a favourite, a chicken drumstick. Obviously, you don't have the bones. <laughs> Here you go. What's up, babe? Din Dins. Yeah, obviously you should not have the bones, okay? But I'm going to chop that up for now. If you get stuck into it. 
She can't wait, look, she's trying to open it herself. <laughs> Daddy doing now, babe. Look for you, babe. Wait, now wait. And you chop it up nice, you know. Get it all off you, babe. Let's get rid of that. Oh, you can't have the bone, babe. So the bone's coming home with the skies, okay? You're not having that. What's that? Choo choo tree. <laughs> Oh wait a minute, oh god, she can't wait guys. Not that she's a starved dog as you can see. <laughs> it's a breed, you know guys, she's half beagle so she's eating all the time. There you go. There's one happy girl. I'll give it six seconds, that's what it normally takes me to drumstick. They are gone. Six seconds guys, happy days. Let's get mine on the go. There you go, there's daddy's. Scarf on the go. I put the wind guard down there now guys, just picking up a bit. And I found this stumble there. Just to protect the base a bit. So lunch will be ready soon guys. Homemade chilli with some extra. Where's it pie? Hold on. Kona sauce, original hot pepper, delicious guys, absolutely delicious. <laughs> Outstanding. Well done, Eli. You've surpassed yourself again in the chili. Right guys, um, me and Lily's going to head out now, just something before we go, <coughs> about YouTube, there's a lot of copycats out there, isn't there, there's a lot of copycats, um, not mentioning any names, but one YouTuber this week, Must copied some of my material didn't do the decent thing and give me the credit because it was my idea this YouTuber has got thousands and thousands and thousands of followers basically because the thumbnails and in a bikini or oh, virtually no clothes yeah it's a female who would be wouldn't it yeah a lot of copycats out there it's great seeing people using my methods that I've learnt over the years but for somebody to use one of my ideas and not give me any credit for it is a bit shallow really in my opinion you probably all know the youtuber I have commented it on the video nothing harsh would never do that but my comment didn't even get a reply and as I was looking down through the comments something else I picked up on 
that these big YouTubers do is they don't reply to all the messages. Only the messages blowing smoke up in asses. So I endeavour to never end up like that. I never get a thousand they got obviously because I'm like Greek kit. But I do my very best to reply to all your messages guys, you know that. And I help you out as much as I can. So that's my little rant guys over and out on that one. But uh I prefer the smaller channels guys. There's loads of good ones out there, you know, for the camping and things. I can name loads of them. Um but these big ones, honest to God, it's just gone to the reds. He's so rude and uh, yeah, I've got time for you basically. But it's not only in camping, you guys just in fishing as well. Just recently, um you might have known I won a competition. It was a pairs competition and I won it on my own. I won it fishing solo. So I sent the catch report to the company that I used all the end tackle with. Email, you know, done it all tidy, professional, courteous. Didn't even reply, guys. So I gave it three weeks. Then I said, have you received my email? And the reply I got back was, well, I'm guessing we have. And that was it. So that's basically telling me, well, your face don't fit, so fuck off. I won't mention the name, guys, but, uh... <laughs> nah, I won't mention the name. That might come another time, right? But I'm with a decent company now. I'm with Sharp Tackle. We're in contact most days. What a difference. Right, so me and Lily's going to strike down camp now. And then we're going to head out. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Come on, babe. Took my head off, eh?